Don't spin your tires on the restart. Don't miss a shift. Five to go. Green flag. Whoa, Junior didn't go. He's not going to get a good restart. Matt Kenseth took advantage of on the high side. There goes Gordon on the inside. They're going to split it going into one. Boy, I think Junior may have spun the tires, Larry. And what a break that was for Gordon. But look on the high side. Oh, Gordon comes up. Oh, he got Kenseth. He got Kenseth. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall. Hard out of the wall. Caution will wave. Caution will wave. The field is frozen. We'll be oh, coming back man. with four to go. That was, oh, and he almost got clipped again. What a, you know, I told you, it's a crapshoot. Cautions breed caution. So we're looking at Jeff Gordon. You can see he's already taking his steering wheel off. He's letting his window net down. That's Look the at that. whole radiator out of the 24 car. The entire radiator. That car, that just And look where it's at in relationship to the car. Last week we saw a guy get his carburetor knocked off. This week we see a guy get his radiator knocked out. What happened to Carl Edwards and Brad Keselowski yesterday on the front stretch has now happened in turn two. Jeff Gordon trying to hold the bottom and he and Matt Kenseth get together. Watch the 17 and 24. It all started with this restart. I mean, this gets everything bottled up. And now it's just a, like a, a real rat race down here into turn one. Jeff's on the bottom. Here comes Matt up on the outside. I think Jeff just shoves up right there, yep. gets into him ever so slightly. And look at Greg Biffle slide by, but that inside lick on the inside wall is what tore Jeff's car all to pieces. They're going to stop the field in turn one so they can clean up turn two. Here's another look. And you're right, Daryl. Jeff's car just pushes up, won't hold the bottom of the racetrack. Couldn't hold it down. And this thing goes in here, and it hits an opening. That's why it knocked. That's what happened. Oh, my God. It hit that opening, and it just ripped the front end off of it. There's no safer barrier there. No. Now, Jeff is okay. Let's ride along in his Chevrolet. That was one hard lick. But you could hear him playing with that oh, throttle yeah. all the way yeah. through one and well, two. Well, here's what I heard. He went into one. He almost tried like he almost not didn't back off. Then he had to play with that throttle a little bit off of turn two. The car wasn't biting. It just wasn't getting enough grip. But that opening right there, that could have been disastrous. Let's watch this unfold from the restart. You'll see that the 88 of Dale Earnhardt Jr. does not accelerate with the 99 of Carl Edwards. And that puts things in motion. I believe he probably spun his rear tires, I think is what happened. You see, junior speed does, just doesn't build quite as quickly as Edwards. And here they come. He spun the tires. Exactly what we talked about. Kenseth got that run on the high side right there. And like I say, Jeff just, car just walked up just yeah. ever so slightly. Jeff was trying to get it, get enough throttle in it to get up in front of him, but he just didn't have the grip down low like that. Now watch the 16 Biffle and the 29 Harvick. Oh, they do an incredible job, especially uh, Biffle there, sliding by on the outside. And I know a lot of people are going to say, wait a minute, isn't this the same thing that happened at Chicago two years ago? Totally different situation. You know, and I think Matt's okay. I don't think he got his car torn up. No. And Jeff did get out of the car okay under his own power. But Darrell, the day is going to come when we have that safer barrier around the inside and the outside all around all of these tracks. As far as I'm concerned, it can't come soon enough. Well, when you got an opening over there like that, you ought to have some sort of...